All right, Panther fans. Oh, where'd your glasses go? I, I looked away. Stu, Stu had his vacation glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, no. Uh, now, with the cigar and the glasses, that's the screenshot. At least get it in your mouth for the screenshot. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> for, for the thumbnail, I should say. If it's bright out there, it's bright. All right. So let's just jump into this. Um, we, had, we, we put it out there on Twitter and on the, on the channel yesterday. We're going to do a QA. and a uh, we, We've got multiple questions. We've got um, one question at the end that's specifically just for me, which I know um, the content of the question won't bother. What's the students. question? When are you retiring? No, no, it's, it's much worse. than that. Actually, there's two questions at the end that might just be for me, but they're really quick answers. It's not it's not. OK, just, just trust me. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's um, let's, ro let's rock the first two questions here i'm doing this without my glasses all put right, your so glasses on nah man and then i on and off and off and on and on all right so the first question first two questions are from jamie um i'm gonna just read them both and that is the first question is the 2021 22 season what does that season mean to you as a fan? Answer only if we've been a fan since the mid nineties, which obviously. And then the second question is what trades do we think Zito makes at the deadline? So, all right, still go. Well, obviously, you know, most people, if not everybody should know that I've been, you know, fan of the team since their inception. Um, I, I, don't think I've been as excited about the prospects of winning the cup this year as I was in 96. Um, nothing compares. I mean, the craziness in 96 was, um, you know, just like off the charts. It was our third year in existence. Um, and we made it to the finals. And we beat Boston, Philly, and Pittsburgh on the way. I mean, we beat, you know, Ray Bork and we beat Eric Lindros and then we beat, you know, Yager and Lemieux. So that was just yep. like, and I think by the time we got to the finals, I think we were just worn down yeah. from, you know, winning those series. But whatever. This 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 year has just been, it's just like, it's, it's been building the last couple of years. I mean, you know, we had a big disappointment last year, but I think that set us up. And, and if you remember the videos that we posted, you know, before the year started and the summers and whatnot and this and that, um, I said that the team was going to come out with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove. And um, obviously they've delivered so right. far. So far. Um, so, yeah, this season means, I mean, I just, I already have a visual in my head, right. <laughs> Markov handing the cup over to Thornton, just right. like just a, you know, replay of the uh, Joe Sack at Gray Bork moment. And then uh, that would just be amazing. Um, what was the second question? Well, oh, let me, let me, let me answer the first, let me answer the first one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, my, my answer is, is, is a little bit, not that yours was long, but mine is shorter. Um, for this season, um, I'm, it's it, in this hand, I, I, I love it, and it's the best thing ever. And on the other hand, I know, I know that this is either going to be the biggest heartbreak we've ever had or the biggest celebration we ever had. We, we are in it now. <laughs> we, we, we've gotten married. We've got the kids. The kids are toddlers. We're going to have to raise these little bastards, and um, we'll see how they turn out. And that, that's how I feel about it. The... The second question was, what kind of what kind of uh, deals, what kind of trades do you think Zito will make at the deadline, Stu? Uh, good question. That's the question, you know, you and I have been asking. I think the focus is going to be on a defenseman. I mean, if we could add a piece to the offense, I mean, where's that piece go? Probably with Barkov and Verhage. Yeah, because you know the other the other lines are solid. I don't think you know we're going to have enough money to do, you know, both. So the focus is going to be on defense. Whether we're, we're able to put a package together, and I know there's another question about it. So let's just 
leave that right. answer yeah, yeah, yeah. for like the next question. Um, I, I, I've been saying it for about a month now, maybe not a month, but almost. I, my gut tells me it's going to be a twofer. My gut tells me it's going to be a, a, a defenseman to shore things up, but not like a star type of defenseman and, 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 and that extra winger that we're, we're kind of short. Um, especially if we, if in either deal, if we, if we throw Tippett into the deal, now we're really short a winger, right? Because we're short that top guy at, while Tippett is playing. I'm just not, saying not, numbers not, wise. Not really. Not oh, really. You got, you got a Chari and Hornquist. Well, yeah, we have an Achari question too. Okay. Here. I mean, as much as we'd like to see him, you know, better, you got Thornton. Yeah. And then I'll talk you got Hepo, you got Hepo Niemi. <laughs> Hepo Niemi could step in. Um, mm. There's options. I know. So I said it's really it's not crucial that we have to fill a spot. Right. Um, Mammon. I mean, if somebody steps up, like Marchman has stepped up lately. Yeah. Then problem solved. Right. Right. But again, it's not it's not it, it, the luxury that we have is our depth. I mean, right. we probably have, as a team, as a collective, the best four lines in the league. Yeah. All right. So let's see what the next questions were. You guys have to forgive me. The slowness of my screen share here is, let's see. I don't even know what I'm bringing up next, but let's bring it up. Okay. We've got two questions here. Well, the first one is from Mike. It says, what's the number one thing you want the team to improve upon heading into the playoffs? And Frank is a little bit more specific, which player would we like to see improved in the second half other than the obvious ones? So Mike's basically the team's improvement and Frank is which exact player? Leave it back up. Leave it oh, back up. There. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me, let me get it back. Let me get it back. They can't see our pretty faces if I leave it up. Mostly. And I just want to, I want to read it again. Uh, see, that's what I didn't want to do. I'm bringing up the wrong one. Hold on. All right. Forget about it. As a team, again, focus just shoring up the defense, a shutdown defenseman. Um, I mean, there's been you know rumors floating around about Giordano. You know, he's a 40 year old guy. He still plays solid. He's a left handed shot, so he's you know filling all the uh, the criteria for me. You know, he's he's a captain. And, you know, was he in the league almost 20 years? I don't yeah. know as far as his Stanley Cup uh, record, but, um, you know, that's going to be a one-year rental. I actually right. think right. He, he might go back to Calgary, finish his career. But um, the other, you know, the other option and the one that I want to see happen is Chikrin. Um, and Chikrin's got, I think, three years left. Right. Including this, maybe two years left. Um, it's just a money issue and what Arizona is going to take. Right. I mean, we have they a, want, they want we draft have a, picks, but we have a, a question from Timmy. Um, I guess if we want to back into that now, since you brought it up, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but it's pertinent for you. Um, the question from Timmy was, uh, what do you think a, a trade for chicken would, would be? So on, it's well, your, I, I I've mentioned it before, obviously Tippett, and then a choice of Kierstead, Ulevi, Carlson. I mean, I'm going to just say Nudavari, even though he's like limbo. Um, so that's that's three, let's say three defensemen for, you know, right. Arizona to say, okay, that sounds good. And a pick. Right, and a pick. I, I kind of, you know, I'm weary about giving up the number one pick. And right. I don't think we can, no, I don't no, think we I can give away the, the uh, I don't think we can give next year's number one pick away. So maybe you throw in a couple of like a, you know, we don't have our first and second this year, but I think we got a few, we should have looked it up before the video, but we, we do have, you know, third and fourth rounds. Right. So knowing Zito, he'll put together something creative. Um, that's the guy I want. And right. one of the other reasons why, I mean, I want him for today 
But I'm also thinking, you know, next year is is Uyghur coming up. And um, I don't, with Huberto also to sign, I don't know if we're going to be able to pay Uyghur. He's going to be looking for the big bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I don't, I, this is my personal opinion. I don't think he's um, irreplaceable. Is that the word or indispensable? Yeah. Well, either one. I They're, think he can one. be, re- I think he could be replaced. And I mean, he's a good player, but, Obviously, you and I have seen some deficiencies this right. year that right. have cost us goals and have cost us games. So um, I wouldn't cry. I mean, obviously, I don't want to lose him, but I wouldn't cry if we lose him next year. But, gotcha. Gotcha. you know, Chikrin, <coughs> as much as he's having, you know, a, a down season this year, and obviously it's because of the team that he's on, I just think, like Sam Bennett, I think Chikrin gets back home. He's going to be so excited and so pumped to play for, you know, for the team he grew up with. Right. That he's going to break out and, you know, be the star that I think he could be. Right, right. You know? All right, so I want to come back. Um, what do you – well, you answered the question. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I got – I want to make sure the next questions are, are upright because we didn't finish those. Um, but to Timmy's question about Chikrin, um, funny because we've talked about this at least four or five, I mean, six obviously, times already. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, obviously tip it. Obviously tip it. Um, there's, 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 what do I want to give up? And there's, what do I think it's going to take? And I, I, I like your version of what we want to give up. I don't think that's going to get it done um, because he's got that. He's got a few years left on the contract and it's, it's a decent price for the player. He is. Uh, I have a feeling that they're going to want, they would want to it everything we talked about and another roster player. That, that that's just my that's just my guess. Um, well, they're not. They're <laughs> probably not going to take Vitrano because his contract's expiring. Right. I would maybe, but they're definitely going to need. In my, you know, just the way I'm, you know, common sense, logic, whatever would say, they need a defenseman to replace Chikrin. So it's basically, right. you know, who who are they going to want? Right. Um, now to the other to the other questions that we started with. And listen, we don't know. Zito is like, you know, again, he pulls right. rabbits out of the hat. Like right. this goalie that we just signed. Um, yeah, yeah. If anybody, if anybody could get it done, he'll get it done. Agreed. All right, so the two questions that we started on that one with Mike saying, what's the number one thing I want the team to improve upon? And then Frank, which player would I like to see improve? So in terms of the team itself, what what number one thing would I like the team to improve upon? Um, to be honest with you, when I was looking, when, um, I did a video with a friend of mine, Nick, yesterday, and he brought out some statistics, and I wasn't aware. I believe it's 19th in the PK. That worth, I believe we're 19th ranked in the PK. That's not gonna. That's not gonna get it done. Now you can you can do it without an overwhelming power play but in the playoffs tampa washington the the pits i mean these teams if, if our pk is not better and the yep. sorry is going to have to become the key to that too but that that would be the one thing that i would want to see done is the pk because that's what killed us last year in tampa we're the best five and five team um, right and you know with the playoffs penalties are going to happen right even if we get a call for us you know damn well the makeup call is coming for the other oh team. yeah and I agree with you 110. percent I didn't know that 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 you know we were nine, 19th. I obviously being in the top five in power play and uh, and PK is so, like you said, right. Killing power plays in the playoffs is yeah. so yeah. important. And yeah. you're right, we did get killed because right. Well, we will love any yeah. team. Any team that we face. Tampa, I mean, Toronto, I mean, whoever we, whoever we play, Boston, uh, pretty much have, you know, good, it doesn't matter. 
It right. doesn't matter who we play. We 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 have so, to be yeah. solid on the pa- on the right. penalty kill for the, sure. The ridiculous offensive output is masking some underlying problems that we're going to notice come playoff time. But the other the other question was, what player do I think would need to step? Wait, wait, wait! But let, let's put down. let's put the power play right next to the penalty kill. It's in gotten a little bit. It's gotten right. a little better. Right. But in the playoffs, you really need to take advantage of your power plays. Right. So, yeah. I mean, I, so I know, I, that, I, I know he asked, he know he asked for one, but I, I'm going to turn it into two. Okay. Like one, a one, a and one B. Right. So special teams. And you notice <laughs> yeah. how we didn't mention goaltending. <laughs> uh, Bob's either going to do it or not, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we're all just waiting to see mode. It's like, yeah, we know you can do this in the regular season, Bob. We got this part. Let's we'll just wait and see. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Nothing else to say. He's got he's got something to prove. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and is that your player? Is that your player that you want? To, because the second question from Frank was more specifically, what player would we want to see up, step up? I believe it's that position that we've talked about. For me, it's somebody's got to take that top winger spot next to Barkoff and 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 make it their bitch. Somebody has to get put up there and and make it so they can't get taken down. Because the yep. other the other three lines are, are are works of art, okay. When everybody's healthy, it's it's beautiful, and we've got guys that are capable of going up there, but we don't have that one guy where he's like, okay, leave it, leave it alone. Um, somebody, somebody. I, I mean, Owen Tippett is past the point point of saying it's possibly going to be him. Boy, did he get his opportunities. Um, I, I mean, don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously, we got. Achari or Hornquist. I don't know, you know, some will say they're not first line players, but right. you know, again, the way our roster's set up, I mean, our third line could be a first line. So right. our second line could be a first line. So basically it's, you know, Achari's a big question mark. Right. Um, right. And we have a question about that too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm um I'm just, but you got those two guys, right, both right-handed shots. Right. And um, yeah. I would love to, I would love, this is the guy I'd love to see kill it on that line would be Hornquist. And this, and just leave. So the, 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 let's just talk about this, this point that you just made wrapped up in the other question. And I'll, I'll give whoever it was credit once we get it pulled back up. But somebody asked what was, um, I believe it was Tim Black on the channel, on the YouTube channel asked what we thought Achari's role would be when he came back. Now, the one thing that has led me, I, I started off thinking, hey, there's no way you're going to take loose Terrain out. But that face-off percentage, um, and then what my friend Nick brought up yesterday again in the video was, you know, Achari and the block shots come playoff time is, is, is another huge thing. Um, Penalty kill, for sure. Right, right, right. So, defensive fa- defensive faceoffs in the crucial point parts of the game. Right. So what do you think? I mean, I've I've said this before. I mean, everybody else has had an opportunity. We've got some time before the trade deadline. If Achari comes back, what do you think about putting Achari back at his spot? And one of two things: you can either move Hornquist up to that top spot with Barkoff and put Lustrine in at wing. Or he could leave the fourth line with Hornquist, Achari, and Lombard and give Lusterainen a shot up there. I mean, there's a there's a short list of who hasn't had an opportunity. Um, it's a tough it's a tough one. Like I said, Achari's a question mark. Um, let's see how he plays in the next couple of weeks if right. he gets in the lineup. Well, he he played in the AHL. Yes, I know. Yeah. Right. So he I hasn't mean, played with the he hasn't played with the big boys. So right, right, right. Um, that was always my assumption was he was going to come back after the, you know, after, after the break. Um, you know, the way, the way, the way the second, third and fourth lines are, I, I wouldn't mess with them. Right. Right. So well, it's really, I mean, it's really, again, comes back to who's going to play with the first line. Right. And I think for Hagee and Barkov are talented enough to bring somebody's game up. Yo, know, I absolutely agree with that. No. So, and I and I I I, I choose Hornquist over Achari because Hornquist is a beast in front of the net 
with screens and rebounds. Right, right, right. You know, there's nobody better on our team than him in that role. Right. No, that's so, that's, that's true. And we know where Higgy gets the puck, he's looking to shoot before he passes. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, yeah, either either way, I'm I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right, let's see what we got next year. Um let's see. And forgive me, there's a there's a FedEx truck right yeah, below my a, building. That's here. okay. I'm i I'm still I'm no, still just learning. speak up a little bit for right now. Okay. Um, so this this was interesting here. The, the Alex, we we we've kind of talked about Alex's question here a little bit already already. Which players have the most to prove for this second half? But we could we could talk about that a little bit. But then this really wasn't a question, but I found it really interesting. I just kind of wanted to bring it up. That there was the this this question about, you know, <coughs> with Vegas, um, you know, Jamie saying bring Marshall so home. And, and the question with Vegas is who are they gonna who are they who's gonna make room for Eichel? Um, I just thought that was interesting and it was it was right next to this question, which which player has yep. the most to prove. Um, in terms I, of, in terms of which player has the most to prove, uh, you said it already, Barbowski. That that's my answer. You you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Agreed. Yep. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the easiest question we'll ever have um, yep. this year. <laughs> um, any any thought that we? My thought with the Vegas stuff. I just found it interesting. Um, I don't. I, I don't think. Vegas would trade Marcia so to us for a half the freaking universe because they want to come Mar just Marcia like we do. <laughs> Marcia so ain't going nowhere. Marcia so is like the uh, Jonathan Huberto of, of the Knights. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I just so. thought that was, I thought it was interesting that people are yeah. wondering, you know, the, the original tweet was from Frank Sobrali. So um, it's interesting that people are wondering, all right, let me see if I've got, the right one yeah i'm here. curious i'm curious yeah. to see what vegas does as so, far as you know yeah 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 because they, they've got they've got um <laughs> they've got some issues there all right so we we answered tim's first question about where atari plays when he gets back so we've got two more here jeremy's question is do you agree that anything less than eastern conference finals appearance would be a massive disappointment this season around would still be nice but this team has more than that in them. And then teams, uh, Tim's other question. Yeah, well, we'll get to that one. Let's yeah, yeah, answer, I, the, first, I, let's I, answer I, the first one. Yeah. I you know that. how I feel. Right. It's it's all or nothing. And, and, you know, anything less than winning the cup this year is going to be a major disappointment. This is the team, Eric, that we've dreamed about. Yeah. This team is built to win the cup. It's our time. And that's all I'll say in that. Twenty nine years. I mean, no, I, I, I. It, it's, it's, it's time. It's time. Um. Obviously, I want to win a cup. To be honest with you, I would be more disappointed if we made the finals and lost than if we lost the Eastern Conference Finals. Um. And and I know that that sounds odd, but son of a bitch, if we make the cup, you don't, you can't do that to us again. We, you know what I mean? We can't wait this long and get that close and and blow it. Game six, game seven. I don't know. My heart just it would be the channel is over because I'll be dead. Um, but if we lose the Eastern Conference Finals, that's not. I'm not happy. It's not good, but it's a little bit less traumatic. So. I fully expect anything, I'll just put it this way, anything less than getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, to me, with this team, I'm not going to say it's as much of a disaster as what happened with Tampa a few years ago, but it's damn near close. They're, they're, because look at who we'd have to play in the second round. The most likely, we get to the second round, we got to play Tampa. Yes. Can we beat Tampa? Yes. Can Tampa beat us? I, you know, Yes. So when she gets to that point, you have to make, you know, everything has to go right. Um, and then once you get past that, then you're looking at most likely either. And the confidence level goes through the right, roof. Right, right, right. We um, get by Tampa. 
you know, new, new, not going to say new ball game, but listen, out of all the teams in the league, we're the team that Vasilevsky fears. Yeah. We've, we've proven right. we can score four or five, six goals on that guy. Right, right, right. So the key, the key to that is just staying healthy. Okay. Yes. Having our full roster. And we yep. can beat Tampa. Yeah. All right. So, and then the what was the third question? Yeah, let me get oh, that. Let me get that back up. Question. Here. Hold on a second. Let me get it back up. Make sure I'm sharing the right thing. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything. See, that's the wrong one. It moves it around in order. When I when I share it, it moves it around in order. I that now I'm figuring that out. Okay. Um, so we're back over here. Tim's second question was, oh, okay. Other, other than Chikrin and Shiro, who do we see available as a rental to solidify the bottom pair? We need a physical playoff experience day at home. D. Stu, you've been texting me with a couple of names um, uh, over the last couple of days. So you, you, you take that one. You're, you're probably well, um, much more suited to answer that question than I am. Well, there were rumors I read the other day that John Klingberg wants out of Dallas. So he would be a guy, if available, I would target. Another name that's been thrown out there is Giordano. You know, both yes. guys, solid, stay at home. I mean, Giordano brings it both ends. Right. You know, he de he de actually, both of them are both good offensively and defensively. Both are seasoned veterans. Both have playoff experience. So other than those two, I don't know. Like I said, we don't know what Zito's team is, you know, looking at. I'm sure they're right. going through every team and seeing, you know, who would be a good fit, number one, and what is it going to take to get that player? Right, right. So obviously we're going to target players that, you know, have contracts expiring. Where, yeah, yeah. you know, right. the other team would be okay letting them go. So... But, you know, Klingberg and uh, Giordano, Chikrin, obviously, but Chikrin's more than this year. Right. You know, in my opinion, well, not my opinion, it's fact. He's not going to be a rental. Exactly. Exactly. Um, another name you could throw out, and I don't know if people will disagree with this one, you got Alex Martinez. Okay. Who was a beast when L.A. won the Cup. Mm -hmm. So, you just never know. There's probably a name out there that we're not even thinking of. Yeah, that, that, so. that, that's my guess is that um, somehow, some way, he's going to pull off what he normally does, which is make us go how and who, who, how, how, who, how, why, what. And then the next yeah. thing you know. He, he's just, <laughs> he's, you know, I'm sure he doesn't do it alone. Right. But he's, you know, he's hit the jackpot <laughs> with some of, of these times. players. I mean, Forsling came out of nowhere. Right. Right. Berhage came out of nowhere and look what these guys have done. I mean, yeah. look at um, the Duke. Right. 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 You know, the Duke, they, these guys have, you know, Bennett. I mean, every guy that he's brought in, Reinhardt. I mean, there's five guys right there that have really made the team so much better. Right. So I got okay. faith that, you know, we'll come up with something. Let me see what else we had here. Um, I may pop up some questions on the screen that we've already had just so that I can clear them out of the, I believe those are the last two questions here. Let's see what this is. We may have gotten to them all already, I believe. Um, let me see. Yeah, we got to that one. Getting back to the point about the power play and the penalty. Yeah, count, yeah, yeah. That is so important in the playoffs. No, we've gotten that one. We can, if we can make improvements in those two areas, I mean, because we're the best five on five team. Yeah. But if we can, yeah. if we can make improvements, I mean, I'd really love to see the, you know, the defense with help from the forwards give Bob a little help, you know. A lot of goals that he's let in, he's been left hanging out to dry because right. somebody, somebody missed an assignment. You know, we know Bob can make the save but he can't make two and three saves when, you know, like an Ekblad gets boxed out by somebody, you know, those, you know, those guys have to be knocked on their ass. They can't be allowed to stand in front of the net ready to jump on a rebound. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Next. That's great. So uh, that's actually, we, we've gotten to them all. Um, because we did what we do is we kind of ended up, you know, some of them are very related. So, you know, we've kind of combined them all. One I want to touch on um, before we get to the last two questions, which um, are not exactly hockey. Um, other than Bobrovsky, let, let's, let's, let's give a little bit of a depth here to that. Because other than Bobrovsky, the player that either needs to improve or or have you know improve or have something to prove, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in Barkov in the playoffs. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that good in one. there too. That's you know? a good one. And yeah. Huberdo. Yeah. To some uh, extent. To some not, extent. Not as not as much as Barkov, but right. Both right. of those guys and Ekblad. Yeah, and yeah. Eager, well, Eklad, you yeah. know, our core guys. Right. Our yeah. core guys got to step it up. Right. Just to another level. Right, right, right. You know, like, um, you know, like that first period against Carolina, or there was another game where we just came out. Maybe I think it was Columbus. Yeah. Where was we Columbus. just came out from the opening whistle and really took it to them and stuck it to them. And, right. We ended up scoring, you know, six, seven goals. Yeah. Or that, yeah, yeah. Or that nine goal game. Yeah. You know, well, eventually. No mercy, killer instinct, you know, smell blood and go in for the kill. Yep. That's, right. that's, that's going to be the key. All right. The last two questions, one of which is probably for both of us. And then um, let me see if I got the right one. I believe I've got the right one here. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. So, Stu, this is for both of us. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 12. You're 12. All right. Well, I'm going to give the honest answer since I'm the, I'm the young blood here. I just turned 50 in August. I know I look, don't look a day over 19. I get it. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, um, but, it, but, it's, but it's true. <laughs> I'm 63. I saw my first hockey game at the Old Garden. I saw the Rovers in the afternoon, and then I saw the Rangers at night. So, right. um, you know, obviously, do the math, how long I've been following hockey. And right. it's the only only sport I really am into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's, as, far, that's... as far as weed goes, I <laughs> haven't smoked weed in many, many years. I grew, so... up in the, I grew up in the, you know, in the late 60s, 70s. Even the early, I mean, I did my share of partying, but. Right. No um, so. So now that Steve is demonetized, or now that Stu has demonetized the video, let me give my answer. Um, no. <laughs> it's too late now. Look, I'm going to I'm going to put it out there. But odds are they're going to be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. About that. Well, I, I was hey, like, it, it, was doesn't an, matter. It, was an, it was an anti-drug thing. Now I now I won't make the dollar fifty. All right, so you can right. send me, you can send me seventy-five I, I cents. Just, I, <laughs> I just thought of a if, if we're done with those questions. Well, I want to I want to answer that question real quick. Um, oh, the one for you? Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, okay. The the answer to that question is I couldn't tell you. I will, I mean I know the difference. I know the difference, but I'm I'm just like a Russian roulette type of guy. Yeah. I don't even buy this stuff. We both have a card. Karen goes when she goes over the bridge. She buys stuff. And it's in bottles, and I put it in the pipe. And sometimes it makes me jump off the ceiling. Happy. Why? Why are we even? Why are we even discussing that? That and, is not a <laughs> hockey-related question. So and sometimes it just puts me to sleep. So all right. So um, here's, I never, here's so, my so here's Stu, my question. Stu, hold on a second, Stu. Stu can speak to that because sometimes we'll be in the middle of texting at about nine o'clock at night, and then he may never hear from me again until the next day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's how you know if I've gotten one strain or the other. All right, Stu, we can, we'll can. stop. Talking. All right, so here's a good question for the both of us that okay. nobody asks. Who is the greatest threat to us in the entire league? Oh, I already have. Obviously, we know... You know, the first team that comes to mind is Tampa. Mm. But let's look at the other side. Oh, the, the other conference? Yeah. In the so top. I obviously think, hands down, it's going to be Colorado. I mean, nothing right. would thrill me more 
than to see a Colorado Panther rematch of 96 and obviously with a different result. Right. They're the team to beat. Um, who knows what's going to happen in, in the playoffs and who they play. Right. Because again, any team can beat any team on any given night or in the yeah. playoffs. I mean, LA proved that. Yeah. You know, they were an eighth eighth seed when they won their cup. And then, you know, they did it the next year, but nobody expected them to win the cup. Right. Um, so what do you what do you say? Um, um who who's the biggest threat? I would I mean to me, to me, it's it's Colorado. If I had to answer the question the reverse way and say, who do I want? Give me Vegas. Please give me Vegas. Yeah. The, the, the defense is, we, we would, we would, I'm not, I mean, there's wood. I'm knocking on the wood, but just give me Vegas, please. The, yeah, the best, <laughs> the best matchup for the league and for the fans is going to be Colorado. Yes. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be blaming you and pissed off. If that happens, it don't work out right. Cause I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I get, just I get, the, I get it. Right. I do. Just being real. I'm just being realistic. Colorado is really the number one team in the league. I mean, the well, power standings came out. They're number one. They got a number of games in hand on us. So theoretically, you know, if they're three games in hand, that's six points. What what worries I would say, me? I would say uh, winning two out of three is a given for them. Right, right. So what worries me about Colorado is they're kind of like <coughs> – they're kind of like – if us Panther fans are saying it's, you know, we are built to win the cup and we're good and we've been through, you know, enough things to where we're ready. Colorado is going to be looking at us like, hold my beer, because they've been what people are saying the Panthers are now. The avalanche has been the last two or three years and they just haven't quite made it happen. So the last thing I want anything to do with is Colorado finally getting to the finals and taking that shit out on us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I agree. <laughs> that's, that's, I agree. <laughs> that's my concern. It would, it would be nice. It would be nice for somebody to knock them off. Yeah, but, I'd, um, let, I'd love I'm, Vegas I'm not to think, get I'm off. not thinking that. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I know. I know. I they're agree. really good teams. I know. I know. All right. But they're beatable. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get the opportunity. That's all yep. I want. Yeah. All right, bud. This was good. I appreciate everybody. Um, that sent out questions, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I want to say one thing here for those of you that are still watching. I enjoy the comments. I see the comments. I, 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 I know how this sounds. I get to them when I can. Um, I, I'm just, somebody had asked me, somebody asked me the other day, um, isn't this um, my, my living now? Um, I've been monetized for eight months. I've made $700. No, this is, this is job number three for me. So um, in terms of comments and everything, I, I, I hate seeing so many comments that I can't get to, but I appreciate the comments. So the point is, I appreciate it. Please don't stop leaving them. I do come back sometimes two or three days later and interact. It's just, um, I, get, I get busy and I get behind. Yeah, we listen. Yeah. Uh, I love hearing, you know, if they're realistic, I love hearing people's opinions and, you know, throwing stuff out there as far as trades and whatnot. Maybe it's something I didn't think of, but. Yep. Yeah. We, we read them. We may not always get a chance to interact with them, but we. we I really think some, them. some, you know, some people whose names I won't mention put certain comments out there just to piss us off. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get Steve. We're going to get you and Steve. And I didn't say, I didn't say. Who. No, I know it's no, it, no, I know that. No, Steve, Steve is, Steve's a good guy, but I want to, I want to see you guys have a wrestling match. Yeah, that, that's, it's going to be paid. I'm going to organize that. It's going to be a pay-per-view. It's going to be a pay-per-view Stu versus Steve. <laughs> All right. That, that does it. I, Stu is smiling. I'm going to shut up. I have no, it. I have no will. I have no ill will. With yeah, no, he's, no, neither does he's neither fine. I, I know he just likes busting, you know what? Yeah. Busting yeah. chops. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So when, when, when's the next one? What are we doing? Now? Oh, jeez, man. Yeah. You put me on the spot. Oh, oh, um, oh, oh. I, it's not. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You've got. Um... I got somebody lined up. I, okay. I have to wait. Um, what do I, what, are we two weeks? 
Nah, we're since, more like 10 since days. I mentioned that to you? I think we're more like 10 days. All right, days. so maybe we'll wait another week, but yeah. I'm uh, I'm working on something like I said. It's a it's a a, a well-known, I'll just put it out there. It's a it's a well-known player. Yeah. When yeah. when when you guys see who I'm bringing on, if it happens, right, right, right. You guys are going to go, "Wow. How would you had you manage that?" Yep, absolutely. Um, so hit the notification yeah. button. Yeah, 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 because absolutely. You're going to want to be notified. You're going to want to know when this yep. guest <laughs> is yeah. with us. Yeah, he ain't joking. He's not, he's not kidding. Um, as far as content, what the hell is today's Friday? I'll have something out this weekend. I don't want to promise what it's going to be because I got to do my taxes this weekend. So it's good. I'm doing them when there's no Panther game, so I want to get them done. Um, but this year, is it's, it's not as simple as it's been for me in the past because I've got like five different sources of like, minor income that we all have to report now we're instead of in yep. the past so i'm gonna have a fun weekend with that so appreciate everybody's support and we will see you in the next one which will be real soon